What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video, I'm Lucas Ferraz and welcome to you if you're new and visiting the channel for the first time ever. In this video we got something interesting and something that you may be questioning uh, by the title and thumbnail. Uh, yes, I did expand my outdoor part outside and in this video I'm going to show you a glimpse of how I did it, I didn't really show a lot, but in this video I'm going to show you what I did and explain a bit more of what, how I expanded it out and how it's better, even better than what it was before. Before. If you haven't checked the video out of me talking about this cage and how I built this whole shed expansion then I'll suggest you click up here. That will take you to that video because this video is the most DIY way of making a shed and a bird cage. But without further ado, why don't we hop into a couple of days ago and show you how I did the expansion for outside for the outdoor cage. Let's go. What is up guys, uh, it is a few days after the intro uh, and the first thing we're going to do before we start this expansion kind of thing is we actually going to open the shed, get a fire going and start burning some leftover woods that there is from this project and uh, yeah if you haven't checked that out I'll suggest you clicking up here because that's going to take you to that video and you'll understand why uh, I'm using pallets as the shed so yeah. In we go into the shed um, and yeah first thing I like to do uh, I've just actually come back from work so the first thing I like to do is just have a look around at the birds see if anything is okay uh, someone's clearly been in here uh, obviously maybe my mother but make sure that the birds are doing great anything anything uh, check if anything's wrong um, and yeah now that everything's been checked now we can actually get into uh, that main project and uh, you know start expanding this outdoor area for them uh, yeah so the lights are on right here uh, this one is not on because obviously it doesn't really need to be on it has the light from the uh, sun and everything so these guys are fine um, I did lock them up because this cage has like a pull to it and sometimes the door just opens it doesn't really close properly so I still need to figure that out make sure that the hinges are placed correctly and all but other than that why don't we head in straight and start making a fire before anything else let's go So now that the fire is lit right over there, uh, we are going to head back at the back. Now I've already put the main pillar here, uh, this is just to guide me as to where I want uh, the length to be. So I want it right in the middle, I don't want it all the way to the front. Uh, I know some of you may say, oh why don't you do it straight to the front? Now the reason is because I want to be able to put uh, my bicycle uh, under here um, to, uh, you know, in winter time just to, you know, to have like a place to store it because I have a tandem bike. If you don't know what a tandem bike is, is a bike with two seats uh, and two people ride it at the same time. A photo will be right up here. Yeah, I have one of those. So uh, yeah, I want to be able to put the bike underneath. Uh, we are going to fix the problem of you know uh, putting a tray uh, to catch the poop and um, like that, it's not going to go on the ground and then dirty the bike uh, and the cover and also uh, yeah, we are going to uh, treat that and put something underneath so we can catch the poop. Um, we are soon about to get new birds for this cage, uh, and I can't wait to actually show you. And you know, the big deal is about to come. My dream cage let's say uh, is about to come hit that post notification bell on uh, set it to all this will allow you to be notified whenever I make an upload subscribe as well and share the videos uh, this is gonna help us grow and make more amazing content so uh, yeah about to come we're getting some cool rare um, birds let's say um, and expensive birds as well I did it's quite a lot of money the birds that are going to arrive here but why don't we get to work and stop talking a lot get to work and make this expansion first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to open the access door to this outdoor cage and put a blockage on that hole right there this is going to stop the birds from coming out and you know ex escaping and just uh, bothering us so that's the first thing we're going to do and i am going to try and film all of this but 
can't guarantee I'm gonna get I'm gonna get everything because I'm the only guy filming and filming and working at the same time is kind of difficult so yeah I'll try and film uh, as much stuff as I can so let's get right to it so I've actually just covered up the door right there but now we're gonna go inside because I want to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere and we are gonna be extra secure with this uh, and what we are gonna do is we're actually gonna head into this uh, small cage and what we are gonna do is we are gonna put a bit of duct tape on that entrance there so uh, why don't we go ahead and reopen this again um, right here oops wrong way uh, right there open up this cage and we are going to put duct tape just right there where that hole is and that's just obviously going to give us extra protection just in case when I'm working on it and that block falls uh, we have that extra protection and like that we are not going to lose any birds so yeah that's what we're going to do let's do it a few moments later so let me show you what I've been up to um, I haven't filmed unfortunately because I don't have uh, you know GoPro if I had a GoPro it would be easier for me, but I will begin one soon so the videos will be much more um, Easily understood to so to speak, but this is what I've been up to I've already done the two main pillars uh, Obviously this the cage that was acting as the door here the access door for this side is still going to go here So all I've pretty much done is extended it outwards and it's pretty simple. It's pretty much the same setup as last time um, I put this uh, large piece of cage uh, all the way from that end to here So it fits really nicely. I put this over here um, So we can have um, some extra support and um, extra security um, For if this breaks for some reason uh, we can always have the birds inside here uh, But yeah pretty long as you can see I can't even reach that end anymore I will put a piece of granite here which will make it easier for me to access so if I want to access it I can just lift the piece of granite to the side and then pop my head inside um, the cage uh, um, this will be kind of uh, planted uh, in the future when the new birds come but yeah it's looking great all we need to do now is to actually just put the same uh, pillar up here and then put the cage here and put the floor here on this side uh, for uh, the birds to start coming uh, so we can open so we can reopen this to the birds but yeah it's looking great we still also need to put a plank here on this side because as you can see there is a big gap and the budget can easily fit through here or any type of bird but it's coming along nicely um, nearly done unfortunately the day is nearly over so I cannot make I can no longer make any more noise um, to disturb the neighbors so um, yeah I'm gonna wrap it up and I'll see you guys tomorrow again so we can finish this off bye bye the next day and so we are back it's a uh, next day and unfortunately as I already said I did not film anything I pretty much did not film this whole process but what I can do is show you the finished product and what it used to be like which I kind of did re record um, but uh, I know you guys want to see the uh, you know full build of it but unfortunately I don't have a GoPro which is kind of a bummer because ideally these things are filmed with a GoPro not a big camera like this one I'm holding right now uh, but yeah I'm so Sorry guys for not actually filming, but let me talk you around and let me show you what I've actually done So let's start off with this cage first. Uh, the cage is still the same pretty much the same. So that's uh, dead simple and uh, no, Straightforward, uh, but let me show you behind the shed the outside area and how much I've expanded out You may have had an idea of how much it was expanded out when the previous clip on the previous day as you saw on this video uh, All in the same video, but different days, but uh, to get a good idea of how much uh, Wider it is or how much longer it is and how much space there is let me show you around the back So let me take you back there. So walking around the back as you can see that's how much uh, it has come forward quite a bit now I did have to do some modifications here because of uh, this cage uh, the cage pieces I have left if you don't know uh, I've used uh, my old cage uh, my old big fly cage or whatever you want to call it uh, and I recycled it and cut it so I could use uh, uh, you know the cage bits to make this now uh, the only thing that doesn't have this type of cage which is kind of annoying uh, is the roof if you have a look the roof is like that it's still not finished it still needs to be you know completed and you know well tidied up but the problem is with this cage is that it bends around and it's kind of annoying it's really 
not top quality like this is um, but in, obviously in the future once we have you know a proper place a proper kind of uh, you know area to do uh, projects like these uh, it will obviously be the professional way and hopefully by then I'll have a GoPro which is always good but yeah this is the finished product so as you recall where that uh, wooden beam is over there uh, I don't know if you can see it but where that wooden beam is at the back that's where the cage was originally now I did expand it a meter and something I think it was uh, I don't really remember but yeah I expanded it for the meter and something and I tell you what the birds already love it and this also means I can put more birds in this cage in the future uh, so that's why I say hit those notification bells hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the videos because uh, we've got some really expensive birds coming uh, at the end of this month and uh, yeah that's all I can say. I'm not going to say anymore because I will spoil it. And yeah, this cage is not going to be a cage of toys, but I'm not going to spoil it. It's going to be something different. All these toys will be taken down and this will be completely different. Uh, but yeah, it came out well. It's not, uh, you know, the best, um, you know, I, I could do better, but you know, it's the DIY way of doing it, let's say. Uh, or as I said, all of these wood was from pallets and everything. So yeah, there's really no excuse for me or for you guys to not build something, you know, interesting for your birds. It's really the cheapest way. And yeah, it looks good. Uh, it looks uh, really good. All, that, all, all that's left to do now is just to touch up and give it a paint and make it the same color as the shed here. But yeah, the birds love it all the way down there. They're, they're every time five in the morning, uh, if you don't know, I do work. So uh, five in the morning, they're out here singing their butts off. And yeah, the sun rises from that side. So the, the sun is always in the morning hitting this area here, which is pretty dope. But yeah, as you can see on top, it's uh, a pretty, um, disgusting job at the top but again no one will see that area and it obviously still needs fixing up um, and you know tidying but yeah looking pretty good I'm really happy with it to be honest and the birds love it too which is the most important thing uh, if you do something uh, that is with love and with care then I can guarantee you that the birds will love it if it's with love and with and if it's for the best of your animals then I can guarantee that that your birds will love it but yeah that's a little project let's say or little expansion uh, you're probably saying as well uh, you're probably thinking as well oh you just finished that cage and you're doing uh, you know you're building it pretty much you know you're expanding it already you're upgrading it already yes that's how I am if I don't if I'm not really happy with something then don't be admired uh, me doing uh, an upgrade or just changing it because yeah that's how just how the way I am uh, I added this toy here actually let me just unlock this cage real quick for you guys and turn the lights off if you don't know my lights are all automatic so uh, they're wireless so I can easily turn them on when I'm abroad or if I'm in London or somewhere far I can turn them on through my phone now we will be doing a review on what a product I have um, uh, like I did with my blink cameras uh, which are pretty good and if you haven't checked out that video then I suggest you clicking up here because that's going to be uh, something that uh, will be helpful if you're looking to buy a camera where you can watch your birds from home and everything but yeah uh, I use CASA right here TP link uh, I will do a review on that I do get these guys from Amazon uh, there is you can control it via phone but it does have a button here uh, if you can't be asked to take your phone out just like me uh, you can click it and the lights will turn on but yeah I added the water feature, the water waterer, let's say, or the drinker for the budgies. It is again a chicken feeder one, uh, just because it lasts longer. And the reason I use them is because, um, you know, every day you obviously have to change water. But with the f chicken feeders, you can actually leave it for two to three days without changing it. Now the reason is, is because first of all, you're not having birds pooing on the water uh, because of how small the drinker is, and second of all, it is you know there is a big, re it is a, quite a big reservoir where you can store fresh water, and there's constantly fresh water flowing through uh, the the drinker. So yeah, that's why I changed mine uh, with the chicken feeders. I change mine every two to three days, depending on how. Uh, you know hot it is how you know humid it is because uh, hotness if it's too hot then your water will get hot and then at night it will cool down and then the next day will be the same cycle again so that kind of you know is not good for the water let's say or for the birds uh, I usually like to change it uh, but yeah uh, other than that guys that's pretty much today's video I hope you guys enjoyed I know 
there wasn't a lot of filming regarding you know the building of that uh, and I'll be sure that next month by the end of this month I do get myself a GoPro because it is much needed and obviously I really need it because I wanted to make the video experience and the you know watch experience uh, better for you guys to understand uh, you know when building stuff like this um, but yeah hopefully I, I can get that soon subscribe um, I invite you to subscribe again share with your friends whoever loves animals birds everything because once again we are getting I'm not gonna you know you know the drill I'm not gonna say it again we are getting some cool animals soon some new birds uh, new projects as well coming soon a new cage as well which I'm planning to do something as well with it so uh, yeah subscribe like this video hit that notification bell this is gonna allow you to be notified whenever I make an upload follow my Instagrams my Facebook pages as well that I do a lot of behind the scenes there do a lot of posts there do a lot of you know stuff that may interest you regarding the birds and what is going on here in this shed hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you guys on my next video which is gonna be a really educative one as well God bless you all and bye bye.